In this video, we will see how to implement a list using array. The basic operations of a list are inserting an element into a list, deleting an element from a list, printing the elements of the list and searching for an element in a list. Let us see first how to insert an element in a list. Let L be the given list which contains 4 elements 24, 45, 76 and 12. Into the, in this list, I am trying to insert this 84 at the second index position. Here, that is 24, 45, 76 and 12. Now, this 84 has to be inserted at the second index position. That means, this 84 has to come between 45 and 76. That means, this 76 has to be copied here and 12 has to be copied here. First, 12 is copied here. And then next 76 has been copied here and this available location I am going to just copy this 84 here. Let us see how to implement this list using the C program. Here the n-1th position has to be copied to the next location. See here this array index starts from n-1 and it moves up to POS that is the position at which you are going to insert the new element. That is every time the array at the element at the ith location has to be copied to the i plus 1 location. That is here it starts from here this value has to be copied to the next location. And this loop has to be repeated until the array index reaches the uh, position at which the new element has to be inserted. Next I have to just copy the element that I am going to newly insert into the list at the array position at the array in the position POS. Since the new element has to be inserted into, into the list using these lines I have to just increment the array size by 1 that is n plus plus. Next we will see how to delete an element from a list. Now my list contains the 5 elements 24, 45, 84, 76 and 12. I am trying to going to delete this 45 from this list. That is if 45 is deleted then 84 has to be copied here, 76 has to come here and 12 has to come here as shown in this figure. Let us see the routine for deleting an element from the list. That is from where the deletion has to happen just uh, that element that is the next element has to be copied to the position at which the deletion has to happen. See here, here the deletion has to happen here so the next available location has to be copied here. That is i plus 1th value has to be copied to i. i initial value is POS that is the element at this POS index has to be deleted. So this has to be repeated until it reaches the end of the list. Since uh, an element has to be deleted from the list we have to decrement the size of the array by 1 that is n minus minus. Next we will see how to print a list. Printing a list is just displaying all the elements from the starting index that is 0 to the last index that is n. That is printf just we have to put this single statement printf inside this for loop. This routine will print all the elements of the list. Next is how to search for an element in the given list. The element to be searched is key. That is you are going to search into the list to check whether this value key is present in my list or not. Because I am going to search the whole list, the array index starts from 0 to the end of the list that is n. Every time you read an element, you are going to just check whether it is equal to the key value that you are trying to searching for. If it is equal, just print the element is present at this location that is i that's all so this implementation of the list using array is over let us see what are the disadvantages in this since uh, we are going to implement the list using array array is of a fixed size that is you cannot uh, uh, that is you can be able to resize but it is, will be very expensive and uh, it uh, since it is implemented using array it requires a continuous memory location and then that is insertion and deletions are inefficient and also this um, if, if the array is wholly is not wholly occupied that means it is a wastage of memory space and then if insertion and deletions occur through the list and in particular at the front of the list itself then the array is not a good option so alternatively Alternatively, we have to go for the linked list. Thank you.